Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel. Awesome guys to be back on another video on uh, oh Well, this is not on map making this time um, today. We're talking about um, the new DLC That's been out for a few days or a week or so maybe two weeks. I'm not too sure <laughs> Who knows I'm so busy making maps <laughs> And other videos and stuff, but anyway guys, uh, yeah, we're going to look at the precision farming DLC and what it is um, There's a lot of questions about it that I want to just handle in this video So everyone knows what it is and what it's about But before we get into that if this is the first time on my channel um, Yeah, a warm welcome to you guys and uh, do hit the subscribe as we're talking about it uh, Take the little few seconds and just click that little button <laughs> It will make me happy. So yeah, praise the Lord for that. I'm uh, um, excited to to share with you guys today and uh, let's have a look at the precision farming right so if you open the precision farming um, DLC download um, once you've uh, selected it and you've opened it you'll come to the explanation of what it actually do and what it is it says it makes your virtual farm eco-friendlier and more sustainable the precision farming free DLC introduces new gameplay mechanics based on real smart farming technology that includes four different soil types and soil sampling, economic analysis and environment score for, for your farm. Crop sensors and various mechanics for dynamic yield improvement and crop care help you to save seeds, lime, fertilizer, herbicide, fuel and in the end money. All while reducing the environment impact of your operation. The John Deere 732i power spray, the Isaria Scout and Isaria Pro Active extend your uh, rep repertoire of agricultural tools to run a sustainable farm. A new precision farming tab in the menu gives you all the information you need to optimize yield and hold control over your finances and the way you run your farm. A soil map with special filters shows you the current state of your soil and every action you take is reflected on the economic analysis overview. Meanwhile, the environmental score of your farm indicates how eco-friendly your operation is. Calculated by the factors like reduced tillage, nitrogen levels, weed control, using spot spraying technology and others. The Precision Farming DLC is a project initiated by the John Deere Germany and funded by the IAT Food Wara Wara Wara. So, we, so what, what basically guys um, is you've got on the back your, your tester that you can test the soil with and then in front you've got a, a sensor that you drive with that will actually look at your uh, map and um, add the amount of fertilizer needed so you need the sensor when you do the, your spraying so you put the sensor in front and in the back your fertilizer spreader or your sprayer uh, or whatever you add your, your your nitrogen and stuff with to the soil great great guys so uh, yeah let's have a check um, first things of all um, the precision farming what is it it is basically um, if you look at normal farming today people just look at the weather uh, they have their routines um, they rotate their crops on the field for instance they plant one thing and then harvest and then plant the next thing and and the two crops uh, normally complement one another the one is a root crop and the other one is not that type of stuff you know and um, um, for instance uh, I know welka farms when they plant peas um, they, they try to rotate it with 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 uh, a spring wheat, you know, um, and uh, you yeah, know just make make it so the peas leave some nitrogen and stuff behind in the in the uh, little uh, um, fertilizer things that they add to it, and then the next se the next uh, um, season they they plant uh, uh, spring wheat for instance and then yeah, the harvest for spring wheat is is helped along as well, you know, in the process. So that it it it's a normal farming but the the precision farming now what happens is your soil uh it's all about the soil quality and and the the acidity or, or the uh, um the level of of uh ph level of the soil basically is what what i'm trying to say so what you're going to do then in precision farming now is the the guys at giants has added info layers now info layers is um is is just a basically a map of your whole uh, uh, map a and showing on the map certain areas that's got different types of soil uh, like a sandy soil a clayey soil and you can have a look at that once you've downloaded the dlc and added to your map it works on any map guys you don't well, well it works on any map 
based on the base game i'll show you now um any 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 map it actually should work on any map even if it's not on the base game because it it creates new info layers for your whole um map you know so so I, I, i'm 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 saying or what i wanted to say is it will work on any map so it doesn't matter if the map is made for the, you can't really have a map made for uh, precision farming because it's stuff that gets added on it's a dlc that comes on top of your map you know so there's nothing to do in your base map or to change in your map to add to your map or anything to make it work it's like adding a mod to your game you know it's the same thing basically in, although this is in the form of dlc so so it's actually once you've downloaded it it's permanently in your game except for if you not tick it in the map it won't load the dlc uh, for that map when when you start the map you know so then you'll play without it but it will be there permanently once you've downloaded the dlc anyway so what you'll do is you'll open the the control panel or, or the menu and the second menu here with the little satellite is now apparently um, the satellite it's, it's, has scanned the whole earth and obviously your map is part of the earth so you will find that there's um, different types of soil in the earth um, and now you will have a map of of your uh, or, an, or, or an area map of your map to to see what types of soil there is now what i've done is uh, you you actually go to the to the menu go to p uh, or to the to purchase menu and go into the miscellaneous folder i'm just going to get to that and in there you will find the isaria scout now this one is a um is the soil sampler that you put on your tractor or on the back of your van or whatever has got connections for the hoses and that you can work on that even you can even work on, on the front of the tractor you know um and then what happens is you'll add that to your tractor and then you'll just drive onto your field I've, I've got it here on the back of my tractor i'm going to show you how it works so let's just drive into the field and take a few soil samples so you'll basically take some samples of the soil it's a thing that puts a, a drill into your into your soil and don't worry about it i'm going to crash my crops yes i know <laughs> and so it doesn't really matter this is just for show and then once you're at the spot you press the b button oh you first have to unfold it obviously like anything in farming simulator you open it press the x button press the b button and wait for it to finish first for my bob um, and then press the b button and have a look at the map here at the bottom left the mini map you'll see it's busy grabbing a sample now it's going to show a brown area there so you just drive forward and get to the area that's outside of the brown circle because um, basically you're taking a soil sample that is valid for an area around the sample you know so that's basically what you're going to do so this is a very expensive and time consuming exercise that you only need to do once on your fields because uh, once you know what type of soil is in there um, it it, uh, it it will actually work for for all the equipment and i'm going to explain to you now why i say that so i'm just going to do this three we'll leave the rest because um, you un already can see what it does on the thing so what you do now if you, if you press f1 you'll see that here in the menu um, i just want to grab my mouse so i can point you'll see here fold the soil equipment send soil samples for analysis so you press the y button and the three that i've now taken it gets sent down to the lab and then in a while you hear a little ding dong sound and um, you can go and look at your map and wow that was quite fast you'll see that now i've got sandy loam here and then that other color here is like a uh, loam and then the black is uh, salty clay so basically um, you've got uh, lime and you've got fertilizer now fertilizer adds nitrogen and lime makes it uh, more uh, less acidic so so what happens is when you now spray uh, fertilizer on your field either spray it or um, uh, what's the other thing uh, um, spread it either spread it or spray it and that can be in the form of obviously um, I'm not too sure if it works with the slurry <laughs> that's a good question because slurry is also seen as fertilizer in the game but what happens is in the areas now 
where you don't need fertilizer. Because um, once you've scanned your whole field, you'll get these patches um, all over the field with um, with patches where you either have to add, uh, add lime or you have to add fertilizer. Um, and if your pH level is neutral, um, oh, here's the pH level. There it is. Here you can see um, a level of pH, um, how how um, acidic the field is, and then obviously nitrogen. There it is. And that obviously the yield and seed rate. So here we go. So now with the pH level, you'll balance that with your uh, with your uh, lime, and then obviously the the nitrogen gets balanced with your um, fertilizer. So now what's going to happen is when you spray with your fertilizer spreader or with your fertilizer sprayer, you're going to get places where it needs. You'll see here it needs. It needs to be. I think in the in the yellow or in the green I th I'm not too sure I think it's probably in the green where it's good um, so it's going to apply the amount of fertilizer needed so you're going to save a lot of money on fertilizer and lime because some places is not going to need anything and then your spreader will just ignore that areas so you're going to save a lot of money when you spray fertilizer and lime uh, when you when you run with this um, Currently, no soil samples are analyzed. I uh, just want to have a look. pH value 15, weed control. Okay, so that is in a nutshell how the, the whole precision farming works. So now, w once your soil is balanced, your plants will grow better and you'll get better yield. So not only will you save on lime and fertilizer, but you will also obviously save uh, or get extra f money in because your plants will grow better and you grow a better yield. Now the figures, are, I haven't researched how much they've put in the game, how much you will gain, but it's probably something like 10, maybe at the most 15% that you will gain by doing the precision farming drill, you know. And uh, considering that you will also now uh, save... C uh, because you're going to get more money for your or, or more yield it will definitely boost your income much more than that 10 or 15 percent you know it could work out to maybe 20 or 25 percent better better income from your crops you know so there is a there is a place for precision farming if you look at 90 probably 80 or 90 percent of the farmers that really farm uh, with fruits and vegetables and and uh, seed crops uh, about 80 or 90 percent of them do not do precision farming in the real world. Um, it's only the the few odd guys out there that really go and do soil samples of all the soil on their fields and all that kind of stuff. You know, it was it's really in a very expensive uh, exercise to 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 do the first time. You know, um, but after after that, obviously you can uh, you can uh, um, I don't know how how many crops you can plant before you have to redo it I, I suppose it might be like the plowing you know after three cycles um, you will re need to redo the uh, precision farming uh, the testing the soil sampling um, to verify if, if you need to add again you know so um, yeah it, it, um, it, it probably will wear out you know as 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 the seasons go along it will be interesting to check I haven't checked that so it will be interesting to see and to check that so now talking about the info layers guys for those of you who don't know what an info layer is if you open the precision farming um, DLC that you got that you downloaded here it is I'm just going to open that and if you look at your soil maps for instance that's the ones we've just been looking at you've got um, a soil map for the Alpine map the French um, the US map uh, the SA I suppose it's a generic one. Oh, there is a generic one on top so it will work on any map guys doesn't matter what map there it is it will load the generic sample and what it is it's a it's a it's a normal weight file um, if I go into any map I can show you what a weight file looks like um, go into the data and here's your weight file so if you look at um, a good example of weight files uh, let me open the grassy once you once you open the weight file you'll see it is a an image with different uh, amounts and the the, uh, the amount of color on it in in the case of this white files it's in it's in black and white in other words it's it's a it's a scale between black and white and all the grays in between so the amount 
amount of uh, um, is determined by the color that's on the weight map you know so that's basically precision farming will now have all these bands of different soil types and it will it forms a GR or e file um, there it a PNG file for the weight but the actual the actual info layer is painted or is is visible in the editor uh, although it's not really in the editor but you can see the normal file sets in the editor if we open a map I'll just open this map that I'm busy playing um, my latest map that I've converted it's, it will be re released in the next few days it's called Frickly it's a real working farm there in Doncaster in the UK and I've just finished converting it from Farming Simulator 19 um, I actually made this for a friend of mine John who lives in uh, Frickley or close to that not he lives in Frickley but he lives lives close to it he used to work on this farm for many many years and this is his farm that he sort of worked all his life you know and um, yeah I've just converted the map now from FS19 again ah, to be playable in FS22 so it, it will be really soon it's a very very nice map full of detail and nice things to to fiddle with but uh, we wanted to have a look at the info layer so if you go into your info layers here at the bottom sorry not in the scene graph I pulled the wrong one right at the bottom here by the info layers you'll get your farmlands now the easiest one to look at is the farmland so let me zoom out a bit so if I now select farmlands and I drop here into drop to the info layers you'll immediately see that is exactly what precision farming will look like although this is a, a map of the the farmlands but precision farming will now have these bands and areas that's got different soil types and this is an info layer so if I would like to to um, to paint on the info layer I'll just now paint I'll select a layer here uh, like layer layer one for instance sorry and and if I layer one on this one is is nothing let's select layer three that's the actual form so now the the white is the info layer for 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 farmland three or the third layer if you want to go and precision forming uh, it only has one layer uh, it doesn't have uh, any other layers it's just one layer um, and like this farmland is only one layer but on the layer there's different um, pieces or, or different things on the layer uh, which just give different colors so yeah I hope it makes sense guys <laughs> I'm not gonna save this but that in a nutshell is precision forming and um, a lot of guys have asked me if, we, if, if they need to do something in their maps to make it work you don't have to do anything in your map you don't have to uh, add anything or nothing because it works on top of the map it's a DLC that's in the game so you download it in the game um, if you go to your downloads I'll quickly show you I'll just quit here and then um, you just type in precision farming here at the downloads go search precision that's enough to search it and there it is guys you click on a download and there you go you're all done and then when obviously once you've downloaded it um, and you start your map you just have to select it like any other thing um, if you want to uh, play it you have to uh, select it here make sure it's selected and you'll have everything in game to to work with uh, so yeah there's nothing to add to your map um, a lot of guys ask me if they can build it into their maps um, I'm sure it will be possible I haven't looked at that but there's no reason why you want to build it into your map because I think about 70% of the guys out there I'm just guesstimating guys um, doesn't play with precision farming so if you build it into your map it's permanent to your map so now what's going to happen is you've already lost 70% of the player base that would have played your map um, rather leave it as an option for them to play with like it used to be an FS19 there's nothing to do in your map um, if they want to play with it they just tick this little tick and if they don't want to play it um, they leave the tick out you know <laughs> basically as simple as that um, so it's a normal DLC guys that comes for the game it's free of charge by giants you just download it install it and um, um, that's it you play it and enjoy it um, go with go with the flow guys um, however um, I'm not too sure if if the sprayers that's currently in the map um, is precision farming ready I'm, I'm not too sure if, if it works 
like I've explained, it, it will spray more fertilizer or less here. But I think it is. I'm, I'm, I'm talking under correction, but I think it is, guys. Um, I don't think uh, um, if there's anything that needs modification, but I don't think giants will have left it to that. I think they've already just... Um, put it into the DLC that when the sprayer sprays where the areas is that needs more fertilizer it will put more down and the areas that don't they'll put more less it's like your normal uh, um, cedars and sprayers that has um, multiple sections that they can switch on and off you know it, it's called um, um, uh, what's it it's not column control but it, it it's section sectional control so you can s put certain sections of your sprayers on and off that's basically how it works um, putting more down and less down you know so that is basically in a nutshell the whole story so yeah hopefully it's been in, in, in insightful and helpful um, I've really uh, tried my best to explain the whole katoot so um yeah thank you so much for watching guys and uh take care man i'll catch you on the next one cheers